Hi, I'm Chad. I'm from the internet, aka Pittsburgh. This is my first time in Raleigh, or as I like to call it, Red Hatville. You know, coming here to Raleigh, driving in from the airport, and seeing Shadow Man peek from behind the other buildings was kind of like seeing that kid that you grew up with and is now a rock star, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, because I've been in open source a while, right? So it's like, we have, we have our logos on the tops of buildings now? I thought that was something that, that real companies did, but we are, we're, we're there, we've arrived. So I want to take a little bit of time to kind of celebrate how far we've come, and then uh, second part we'll be talking a little bit about some of the problems that uh, still remain in open source, and then in the third and final part, um, talk about um, my company, Gratipay, which is working on solving some of these problems. So in 1998, um, Christine Peterson coined the term open source. Later that year, Microsoft freaked out. They said, open source poses a long-term developer mindshare threat to Microsoft. I think they were right. But here we are in 2016 and Microsoft's killing it, right? This picture on the right is Red Hat CEO with Microsoft's corporate vice president of enterprise open source, right? 2016, we've come a long way in 18 years. And so obviously there are companies like Red Hat that have figured out how to make open source sustainable. But there are still big parts of the open source ecosystem that are not sustainable. We still have what's called a free rider problem with us. So the free rider problem is so many of us use this software and we assume that somebody else is paying for it somehow. But oftentimes that's not the case. And if you remember Heartbleed a couple years ago, this sort of uncovered a really extreme example of this phenomenon. OpenSSL was basically supported by one developer who you know, was working for well under uh, you know, normal salary and over half of the World Wide Web was dependent on this one developer, right? Uh, who was not really being compensated properly for his work. So that's, that's an example of the free rider problem. The Ford Foundation put out a report um, this past year. Nadia Egbal wrote this report called Roads and Bridges. Uh, it's 150 pages long and it's all about this problem of the free rider problem in open source, in she calls it digital infrastructure. So open source has come a long way, but we still have this free rider problem with us. So four years ago, I started a company called Gratipay. Um, Gratipay is a startup that's working on this free rider problem. We're trying to help companies pay for open source software. Because really, at the end of the day, it's as simple as that. Somebody needs to pay for it. Companies have the money. They're getting tremendous value to the software. Some of them are giving, I mean, a lot of them are giving back in lots of ways, right? We've, you know, this, this isn't, this isn't uh, you know, a, a binary either or thing. This is, okay, we've come a long way. Let's keep making progress. So Gratipay is one of several startups working on this. Other ones you should know about are our competitors, LiberaPay. LiberaPay is actually a fork of Gratipay. There's also Bounty Source. There's also Open Collective is a newer one. You know, so there's this handful of us that are working on this problem head on. How do we help companies fund open source software and pay into open source software? And the four of us right now are pretty parallel in what we offer. So it, it, it really comes from kind of a consumer crowdfunding model, right? Where an open source project can come sign up on one of the platforms and then companies can come sign up and give on those platforms. And that's kind of where we're all, we're, we're all kind of in that rut right now. And we need to get beyond that. So what we're working on at Gratipay um, is trying to aggregate so that, uh, you know, if I'm a developer, I have 100 packages up on NPM, you know, I don't, you know, I, I want to, um, you know, I, I want to sign up for all those packages at once to receive money. If I'm a, but more importantly, if I'm a company, I don't use, you know, one, two, three open source packages, you know, I've got a thousand different open source packages in my technology uh, stack, in my inventory, you know, I want to be able to fund all those at once. So you can see how there's a little bit of like a B2B difference there. Um, so Gratipay itself is open source, we're funded on our own platform, and we would love to have you help us work on solving this problem. Thank you. <laughs>